this was my glow up from the age 15 to 20. Why did I glow up like this? Well, because I was a male model. I became a model because I had some of the basic features that you need to be a model. I had height and some decent bone structure, but I always had casting directors, models, photographers, always bombarding me with ways to increase my looks. And I put as many of those into action as I could. And now I'm here sharing them with you. So this is 30 more glow up tips that will change your life. Some of you guys know that I'm doing this series on Instagram Reels. I'm sharing with you guys 100 glow up tips, one new tip each day. Now, I already told you guys the first 30 in another video, so this is just part two. These are the next 30 glow up tips that can change your life. Now, I don't expect you guys to try all of these. I just expect you guys to watch this video and maybe like two or three of them resonate with you and you try them and they make a huge difference. So without bullshitting anymore, let's get right into it. Tip number one is to get some linen pants. Linen pants are like the pants of 2023 and probably 2024. They're just a comfy, laid back, flowy vibe and they make you look like a chilled out, relaxed, but stylish person. So yeah, number one, linen pants. Number two, invest in a silk pillowcase. When you're sleeping, you're moving around so much that the friction from the cotton pillowcase tugs and pulls on the skin on your face and also your hair, causing damage, uh, wrinkles, breakage of your hair. So invest in a silk pillowcase for frictionless contact. You're not f***ing with your skin and your hair. It's a good thing. Number three is for my thinning hair boys out there. Start using minoxidil. Minoxidil is this over-the-counter topical treatment that you can get that you just apply to your scalp every single day. And what it does is it increases blood flow to your hair follicles. So it can actually wake up older dormant hair follicles and uh, help you maintain the hair that you actually have on your head and actually even regrow up to 20% of the hair that you've already lost. So if you've started seeing some thinning, then definitely look into to trying out minoxidil. I use it every single day, although I did have a hair transplant, so I gotta use it anyways. Number four is a highly neglected thing and it's to train your neck. Yes, I'm a hypocrite. I need to train my neck more too. A thick neck just makes you look more strong, respectable, robust, uh, and more of a commanding presence, I guess. Why would you wanna look like this when you could look like this. So start working out your neck. These are the three best neck exercises and start adding them into your workout routine. You know what else is a major glow up tip? A daily skincare regimen. And we can't talk about skincare without mentioning Teach Hanley and shout out to them. They are the sponsor of today's video. As a lot of you guys know, I've been working with Teach Hanley for like the past five years. My first ever viral video, I was talking about using Teach Hanley, not sponsored or anything. And I've been using it ever since. I've used so many different skincare products. And a lot of times I find myself just coming back to Teach Hanley. If you have no idea what you're doing when it comes to skincare, it's a great place to start. I recommend trying out the level one subscription plan, which comes with a morning and evening moisturizer, a daily face wash and an exfoliating scrub. Did I mention it's a hands-off subscription-based skincare company? So you just go online, pick the level you want to start with, and then it'll ship to your door each and every month. You don't even have to move a muscle. Couldn't get easier. You get the stuff, you put it on your face every single day. Probably the best thing about the level one skincare is that the morning moisturizer has SPF 20 in it. If you guys don't know, you have to have at least SPF 15 on your face before you leave the house or else the sun is gonna do this to your skin. So with Tej, you don't have to worry about that. We got SPF 20 in the house and I got a deal. So you know what that means. You guys get a deal too. You can check out my link in the description and get 30% off of your first box and a free gift. Yeah, that's right. Who doesn't like gifts? I like gifts. It's Christmas all year round with my link down below. Go check it out. And yeah, back to the video. Number five is the deep voice trick. This is a trick that I used to do before going on a date or going to an event or something where I wanted to get a deep voice really quickly. So the trick is to just yell like at the top of your lungs for like 15 seconds straight. And I would do this in my car driving in there. I'd put a song on and I'd, I'd like try to sing along to the lyrics and just scream it at the top of my voice. And what this does is it gives you a mild case of losing your voice or it's called laryngitis. So it's probably not good for your vocal cords. Maybe, you know, if, you, if you're worried about fucking up your voice long term, <laughs> don't do it. But uh, that's what I did. I'm just being honest. You'll notice a deep voice like an hour later that will last like 24 hours or so. Number six is to run one mile every day. I recommend doing it before your workout because 
it's just a really good warm up, gets the blood flowing, it uh, conditions your cardiovascular system and your respiratory system. And when those are working on all cylinders, it makes it even easier to make gains, baby. And it just warms you up before your workout. So I know it's gonna seem really hard at first, but I promise if you do it every day for like three weeks, by the third week, it's gonna seem like nothing. Number seven is to consider trying some redness relieving eye drops to achieve more white whites of your eyes. So a lot of us get these red eyes, these inflamed blood vessels in our eyes. I get it a lot, I get this redness going on. So redness relieving eye drops help make the whites of your eyes wider, stop that redness look. And it just makes you look healthier, more virile, and makes your eyes kind of sparkle and pop and look better in general. So uh, I recommend just using like Visine, but there's also some higher, more potent ones like Lumify. So yeah, consider picking some of that up, trying it out. Number eight is to trim your arms with an electric trimmer or like an actual shaving cream and razor, whatever you want. Probably just, I just do it with an electric trimmer. This just gets rid of all the little baby hairs that are on your arms and you will actually achieve a little bit more defined look of your arms if you actually do train and have like somewhat low body fat. Number nine is going to help with your style and this is to find your colors everybody has colors that complement their skin tone their hair color their eye color so for me example and generally speaking with lighter complexion lighter hair uh, cooler colors look better so blues grays light greens can look good but uh if you have darker complexion then often it's you know orange red darker greens number 10 is to do this thing called oil pulling so get some unrefined coconut oil and then swish it around in your mouth for 15 minutes minutes a day. And what this does is it improves your gum health, it decreases the bacteria in your mouth, it can help get rid of your bad breath and also make your teeth a little bit whiter. So all, all around it's just great for your mouth and your teeth. It's called oil pulling. Found this from TikTok. Try it out. Number 11, I've given this tip a bunch of times on YouTube, but whatever, here it is again. Practice relaxing your eyebrows. This will help you achieve what is known as hunter eyes. It's this look where you have a little bit of fold over your eye. A lot of people have it genetically. This is called hooded eyes, but a lot of us have to actually work for it a little bit and relax your eyebrows to get that fold to actually occur. Now, obviously don't be going around mean mugging everyone looking like a dickhead, but you know, just a little bit can help out a lot, give you that kind of fierce, mysterious look. Tip 12 is the hair volume trick. And this is a trick where you take a brush and your blow dryer. You blow dry your hair forward while you brush your hair backward. This creates two opposing forces. So your hair has no choice but to create a bunch of height and volume at that point where these forces meet. So this is the hair volume trick. Try it out when you're styling your hair if you want to achieve a lot more hair volume. Number 13 is eyelash growth serum. So eyelashes obviously can make your eyes kind of sparkle and pop a little bit. One way to achieve longer eyelashes is growth serum. One my girlfriend has that I borrow from her sometimes is from the brand The Ordinary. And this has like proteins and stuff in it that promote growth and length and thickness of your eyelashes. Kind of makes your eyes sparkle and pop a little bit. Think Harry Styles, Zayn Malik. Killian Murphy, Peaky Blinders, right? He's a badass. 14. The best way to gain muscle is to eat one gram of protein per pound per day. This is the only way really to make gains. You got to be getting your protein in, baby. You can do all the reps in the gym, but if you're not supplementing it and feeding the gains, they're not going to happen, right? So here's some of the best sources of lean protein. Start eating more of this. <laughs> That's a tip. If you don't know what to wear, wear the all black outfit, baby. This is the best outfit of all time. I think some black pants, black boots or shoes, black t-shirt, black jacket, add some jewelry. It's a fire that's good for basically any situation, an event, school, a date, whatever. It looks badass and mysterious and cool. Try it out. Number 16, kind of building off the previous minoxidil tip. You can actually use minoxidil to help achieve a beard. And I used to do this and this helped me gain my first gains <laughs> to my beard. I just, you apply it every single day on your face and it promotes growth to these hairs, just like it would on the top of your head. There's even a whole Facebook group called the Minox Beard Spot with over 60,000 dudes growing beards and sharing their results and whatnot. So if you're interested, go check that out. Again, this is not medical advice. I'm not a professional, do your own research, but yeah, that's yeah. Try it out if you want. 
Number 17, tennis sweaters. This is like the quintessential old money shirt to achieve that kind of old, sophisticated, preppy vibe, I guess. Yeah, it's it looks sick. I have one, I got it from Sheen. Did I get it from Sheen? Yeah, I got it from Sheen, so it's probably not the best quality, but it was like 20 bucks, so who gives a shit? Pair that with some linen pants, boom, sick outfit. 18, practice expansive body language. Expansive body language is often used by people in authority positions, teachers, CEOs, leaders. It just makes you look comfortable. When you look comfortable taking up space, you look like somebody who's confident, somebody that can be trusted, somebody who can be a leader. So start practicing, you know, don't be afraid to spread those knees apart a little bit, kick that arm up on the chair next to you and take up a little bit of space. Number 19, this is one of the most timeless hairstyles for people with straighter hair. And that is the middle part hairstyle. Think Leonardo DiCaprio in the 90s, Johnny Depp, and then even as late as Little Huddy or uh, this dude, I can't think of his name right now. But yeah, it's a good look. So if you got a little bit longer hair and it's kind of straighter in nature, try it out. And it can actually add a little bit of width to your face as well. Number 20, we all know about mewing, talked about it countless times on this channel, but this is a trick to help train your tongue to mew at all times. And that is to chew some gum, right? And of course you're gonna be chewing Brett's jawline chewing gum and then Practice spreading it up against the roof of your mouth, nice and slowly. And I do this for like a couple hours at a time until the gum is totally spent. And that constant pressure and tension kind of helps trade your tongue to bind up against the roof of your mouth. If you don't know about my jawline chewing gum, it's the toughest gum in the world. So when you chew this, it stimulates the growth of this master muscle here, which kind of builds the corners of your jaw, giving you a more square and prominent jawline and facial structure. So I'll link that down below. Go pick some up. You won't regret it. Number 21 is to use a grip strength trainer. This is just a little rubber ring and you squeeze it and it trains your wrists, your forearms, and even your hands and kind of builds them up. And it's, it's a powerful look when you have built up forearms and hands, right? So you can use this whenever you want at the gym, when you're driving, in class, walking around, sleeping, whatever. And no one will even know what you're doing but you're making gains, baby. That's what you're doing. Got this one on Amazon was like 10 bucks or something. Yeah. 22, if you're one of those guys that wakes up with uh, bags under your eyes, then you should try before going to bed, put some spoons in the freezer. And when you get out, just take those spoons and hold them right under your eyes. And this will help dissipate the fluid that is built up and reduce the inflammation, getting rid of those eye bags. 23, practice rapport breaking tonality. This is the way that you speak. This is the way that you curve the phrases that you're saying. A lot of people have this rapport seeking tonality where they curve upwards at the end of what you're doing. And it sounds like a question instead of a statement. So for example, so I went to the beach over the weekend, right? Sounds like you're not even sure what you're saying. You don't even have confidence in your own words. How pathetic is that? So instead practice rapport breaking tonality a little bit where you curve downwards a little bit. This is used often by men in authority, you know, police officers, CEOs, principals, right? You get pulled over, license and registration, right? It curves downwards, it kind of puts you in your place. So start implementing a little bit of that in your daily speed. 24 is the next tip that I will be implementing and that is to get some gentle highlights in your hair. This just adds texture. It uh, kind of makes your hair look fluffy uh, and soft and flowy and yeah. <laughs> it just kind of helps boost your bland, natural, one-tone hair color, which is what I have right now. I'm gonna get some gentle highlights it's gonna make my hair look sick. You just wait. 25, this one seems like a no-brainer, but it's to grow your arms. I know, obviously, big arms are aesthetic. It looks good. But there's actually a psychological uh, benefit as well. When you see a man that has bigger than average arms, you automatically assume that he is hardworking and disciplined because it takes hard work and effort and doing the hard work when you don't feel like it to achieve that. So yes, it looks good, but people who have bigger, more developed, you know, and fit arms will 
get better opportunities in life because people see them as more valuable. Number 26 is something I'm not too sure about. I don't know how well this works, but it's this thing called a new face. It's this little gadget that I got where it sends little microcurrents through your face that actually tightens, it supposedly tightens and tones your facial muscles, kind of helping your facial structure and kind of making your facial features pop a little bit and a little more defined. So I've been using this a little bit and I think, I'm, I, think I do notice a little bit of a change after each use. Uh, so I'm gonna continue to use it and maybe you guys should look into it and consider it as well. 27, start implementing some hand movements when you talk. This just helps add another layer to what you're saying. It makes it seem more passionate and like you know more what you're talking about instead of just sitting here like a robot. <laughs> 28 is something I used to do when I was early in my YouTube career and I had these little pimples, right? I had pimples and acne until I was like 22, bro. It sucked. But before I would film is I would put a little bit of concealer, like women's makeup concealer on the acne mark and just rub it in with my finger and this would conceal it and hide it and make my skin look smooth and evenly toned. Now this works best on healing acne marks. If you have a big old bump on your face and you put concealer on it, it's just, it's gonna look like a pimple covered in makeup, right? But if it's actually kind of flatter, then you can hide it super easily. So go to your local beauty store, Sally's Beauty or whatever, ask the lady that works there or guy, I guess it's, you know, gotta be inclusive. Ask them to help find your tone and then yeah, try it out and use it at school, going on dates, wherever you wanna look your best, basically. Two more. Next one, number 29, slow down your movements. When I talk about your movements, have some pride, have some respect in the way that you move about this world, whether you're grabbing your weights off of the dumbbell rack and going back to the bench. A lot of guys just, ugh, they don't care, they're swinging around looking sloppy. Slow down, move slowly and controlled. Another example I like to give is, say you're walking with a group of friends and somebody from the back calls out your name. Hey, John, most guys, hey, yeah, what's up? They're so eager and curious to see why they're being summoned. Instead, hey, what's going on? What can I help you with? Or better yet, you say you're already talking to someone. Hold on, I'm talking to Sarah, one sec. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what's up, Sam? What, what's going on? You know? When you're super quick and reactive, you seem like your time and your actions are controlled by others and you completely give up your framing. So slow down. Don't be super reactive, just chill out. Last but not least, tip number 30 is to use a pumice stone. A pumice stone is this coarse rock looking cylind sphere. Cylind sphere, what an oval thing. <laughs> I got mine at Target and I just, and it's used simply to scrub and scrape down the calluses and uh, snaggly stuff that you might have on your body. So I use it mainly on my hands, my heels, my foot and my elbows and just helps smooth it out and make you go from looking like Uncle Fester to a well-groomed gentleman, right? So it's like a couple bucks. Uh, this one's a little kind of a boring tip to end the video on, but yeah, it's, it's how the cookie crumbles. So pumice stone. Who would have thought? <laughs> That's it. If you want to see the rest of the tips, make sure you go follow me on Instagram, Brett MVRK, because I don't know if I'm going to put the rest on here. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe. And until next time, peace.